வெல்கம் பேக் வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் த வீடியோ சீரீஸ் ஆன் இன்ட்ரோ டு ஹைவே டிரான்ஸ்போர்டேஷன் இன்ஜினியரிங் திஸ் பார்ட் தி ஆஃப் மாட்யூல் டூ இஸ் கோன் டு பி ஆல் அபவுட் ஸ்டாப்பிங் சைட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் பார்ட் யூ ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு டிஃபைன் ஸ்டாப்பிங் சைட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆர் எஸ்எஸ்டி ஃபார் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் கம்ப்யூட் எஸ்எஸ்டி ஃபார் கிவன் டேட்டா ஆன் ரியாக்ஷன் டைம் வெஹிக்கிள் ஸ்பீட் அண்ட் ரோட் வே கிரேட் பட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் எ குவிக் ரீகேப் Reaction time is very critical in highway design and design reaction time is 2.5 seconds as recommended by Astro Green Book which covers over 90% of driver population we also defined three types of distances associated with vehicle stopping those are available stopping distance reaction distance and stopping distance reaction distance is the distance traveled due reaction time and we referred the distance traveled in the braking time as stopping distance to avoid confusing stopping distance with stopping side distance we will use braking distance for the distance traveled during braking that avoids confusion we also derived a formula for reaction distance d sub r which is equal to 1.47 times speed v in miles per hour and reaction time in seconds These are some of the definitions and dependencies we talked about in earlier parts. We have already talked about reaction distance. Let's get to the business of computing stopping distance, which is this guy here. Again, to avoid confusing stopping distance with stopping side distance, we will call distance traveled during braking as braking distance. Once the driver applies brakes, the vehicle will decelerate from initial speed of v1 to new speed of v2 using the equations of motion we have v2 square equals v1 square plus 2ad where a is acceleration of course it's going to be negative for deceleration and it's in feet per second d is the deceleration distance in feet v1 and v2 are in feet per second rearranging that equation we have d equals v1 square minus v2 square divided by 2a when the vehicle stops the final velocity v2 is going to be zero and then the equation is going to reduce to d equals v1 square divided by 2a and wait a minute what if the vehicle is negotiating a grade up or down how are we going to account for that Ashto simplified the equation for incorporating the effects of grade on braking distance and that equation is shown here in here lower case g is the gravitational constant for which we normally use a value of 32.2 feet per second square the other g which is capital g represents roadway grade in feet per feet or a fraction use positive value for uphill and negative value for downhill and a of course is the deceleration rate for which astro recommends using 11.2 feet per second square take a good and closer look at the positioning and sign of g for grade in this equation that's capital g it ensures for it it, it ensures that for downhill vehicle needs more braking distance and also Note that we are skipping the derivation of this equation which can be done using uh, kinetics and loss of motion in a fairly straightforward manner and our interest is applying this equation for design for computing braking distance in prior versions of the green book astro recommended using a roadway friction term now it is much further simplified by capturing the effects of friction in a generous deceleration rate Astro now recommends a deceleration rate of 11.2 feet per second square. You're probably going to say is that it? One number fits all drivers? Come on. Well, empirical studies has shown that 90% of all drivers decelerate at a rate faster than this. That satisfies our 85th percentile rule of thumb. Another important note Studies also shown that drivers can maintain control even on wet pavement at this deceleration rate. 
stopping site distance or simply SD is the distance traveled by vehicle from the time driver sees or sights the object to the time vehicle comes to a complete stop. And that's how the word stopping sight distance comes from, from the time driver sights to stops, stopping sight distance. SSD is the sum of reaction distance dr and braking distance d. Note that SSD is a driver requirement. It is to be provided in the field by the engineers. Available SD or available side distance on the other hand is what's, what's there, what's provided already. If the available is less than required, accidents happen. To summarize parts C and D, the major takeaway are these three equations. Reaction distance, braking distance, and stopping side distance. And now we are ready to do some more problems.